the adventures of the assistant and Wiggles. I love the smell of Halloween, the scent of chocolate wafting through the breeze, the faint hint of new plastic from everyone's masks, the smell of old apples Miss Henley gives each year. Ugh. Ow! Oh, hey, Austin. If I knew we were going to be attacked by apples tonight, I would have dressed up as something with a helmet. What are you supposed to be anyway? I'm a dog catcher. Hey, Molly, you got any more apples? Oh, no. What is that thing? Hey, that's mine. Let go. Uh, give that back. What's going on down there? No, that's mine. Stay away from us. It looks like some kid in a ghost costume is taking everybody's candy. What? They can't do that. Do they think that just anybody can walk up to these houses and get some? That is sort of how it works, actually. The thief is coming this way, and is he flying? I'm not the only one seeing this, right? Hey! Hey! Get your hands off! Here you go! That guy stole all our candy! Uh, that guy happened to be a terrifying flying ghost, so... Let this one go? No. Let's go get him. Uh, I think I'll stay here and patrol the perimeter. Okay, if you want to stay here all alone. Ah, okay, I'm coming. Yep, that's about our luck. I don't remember seeing this old house before. D do those trees have eyes? No, those are lemons. This is the Lemon Tree Mansion. It was owned by Daniel Arnold Pemingway, a man who got rich selling lemonade all over the world. Lemon Tree Mansion? I've only heard bad stories about this place. It's filled with witches, ghosts, monsters, and ghouls. And no one who has ever gone inside has come back out. If no one has ever come back out, then how does anyone know it's inside? Well, we know of someone who came out. The ghost of Daniel Arnold Pemingway! Austin, you know ghosts aren't real. Yeah, but after tonight... Not so sure about that. I'm sure there's an explanation. Come on, let's go! Candy and adventure awaits! I gotta find new friends. Oh man, this place could use some sprucing up. Ah, it looks like nobody's home. We tried. Time to leave. How are we gonna be able to see anything? Lemons, I think I can solve our light problem. Can you guys find me some nails and copper wire? Here are some nails! Here's some water! Perfect! Now all we need are these two light bulbs. And there we go! Wow, these will be a big help! What is that? It's a big pile of candy! It's all the sour candy from everyone's bags! Hmm, interesting. What is? I've always read that snakes don't like anything sour. They don't? They don't have sour taste buds on their tongue like we do. You think the ghost could be a snake? You know... I was hoping that if we found out the true identity of the ghost, I would be put at ease. But hearing that it might be a flying snake, not helping. Ah! Oh, it's just my watch. Mr. Engineer's calling. Assistant, are you okay? Of course, Mr. Engineer. What's wrong? I've just returned to the lab. Someone's broken in. They managed to steal my lab coat, as well as one of my inventions. Which one? I'm not sure, because someone didn't do the inventory properly. Eh, sorry. Oh, I see you're using the lemon flashlight. Hey, that's a pretty nifty trick, isn't it? Definitely. Where are you, anyway? A haunted house. Yeah, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Ghost and or flying snake! Okay, everyone, just stay together and... <laughs> Or do the opposite? We need to get Austin. We need to take down that ghost. Wiggles, you and Molly go after him. I'll go find Austin. Right. Austin, are you in here? Oh, thank goodness you're here. It took a few minutes, but I realized I made things worse by being alone. Come on, let's go meet back up with... Ah, monster! Ah, big monster! Oh, wait! It's not a monster! Those are our candy bags! Oh, good! For once, a pleasant surprise! It looks like the ghost pulled out all the sour candies! But this is everything else! Great! We found them! Now, let's go! Wait a second! There's animal fur here! Great! This place is infested with mice! No, it's not mouse hair! Hmm, but it looks a little like... I'm not sure! Maybe... 
hamster hair? Eh, tomato, tomato, if you ask me. But snakes don't have fur. That means Howie the hamster must be the ghost. And if that's true, I think I know how to get him. How? Howie's afraid of cats. And did you happen to bring a cat? No, but we can trick Howie by making him think that a cat's after him. He'll get scared and we'll be able to catch him. Do you smell that? I think that's rocket fuel. It is rocket fuel. But the can is empty. Why would a ghost need rocket fuel? There it is. After it. Meow. I'm a big cat and I'm hungry. Ah, assistant, look out for that giant cat. Wait, Wiggles, it is I'll save you. I, I can't see. Okay, silly ghost, let's show the world how you're actually... Rowdy Raccoon? That animal hair wasn't hamster fur. It was raccoon fur. Hey, this isn't a sheet at all. It's Mr. Engineer's lab coat. Ugh. Hey, he's wearing my rocket shoes. So that's what Rowdy stole from the lab. And that's also why he needed rocket fuel. To power the shoes. <laughs> he thought he could fool us into thinking it was a real ghost. Why did he separate the sour candy from the others? Raccoons don't like sour candy, but they got a big sweet tooth. Well, what are we going to do with this guy? Hmm, I have an idea. Come one, come all to the scariest haunted mansion in the world. And don't forget to pick up some candy on your way in. Thank you so much. You saved my little brother's first Halloween. Wow, you guys did a great job turning that old haunted house into quite an attraction. Oh, and thanks for bringing me back my lab coat. It was our pleasure, Mr. Engineer. But well, whatever happened to Rowdy Raccoon? Oh, <laughs> we decided to give him a little job. And this is the living room. But be warned, sometimes you can still hear the place being haunted by the ghost of a raccoon. <laughs> Stop it! Let me go! This is not how I planned my Halloween would go. Hey, everyone. Remember how we just saw how I made flashlights out of lemons? That's right, Assistant. Now, we're not going to be able to make flashlights out of lemons today, but we can make a clock out of lemons, right? Right. So let's look down here and how we made a clock out of lemons. So do you see it down here, people at home? Now, what we've done is we've made a battery. So we've got two lemons and you have Right here and here and there and there. And here's a little clock. Do you see it? We'll hold it. Since we hold it up just a little bit and let's see. So you can see it's not very bright right now. But watch what happens when we squeeze the lemons a little bit and we get the juices flowing out of them. Ready? Do you see how the clock is getting bright? And then I pull off and it's not as bright. So look. Wow, that's cool. Okay, assistant, hold the clock right there. See how it's nice and faded? So watch, I'm gonna pull this out, and this is what they would call an electrode for a battery. I'm gonna put it back in the lemon, and look, the clock came back on. Isn't that cool, assistant? Yeah. Now, you know what? We don't have to just use lemons. So let's hold the clock right there, okay? Let's make sure we have it pointed so everybody can see it really well. All right, so we've got a lemon there, but what's this right here? It's an orange. It's an orange. So we're going to take our electrode out on one side and our other one out. And oh, wait a minute, what happened to the clock? What happened to the clock? It stopped working, didn't it? All right, hold it right there, assistant. Now we're going to take the orange and, and get it ready. And what we're doing is we're actually making a battery because the electricity will flow from one side to the other because all you need is an acid and then... It smells the, good. And then... All the juices from the fruit allows electricity to transport from one to the other. And look, our clock is back on. Isn't that cool, Assistant? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Now, there are other things that we could use, too. Now, it'd be kind of hard to actually make a um, flashlight with it because you'd need a lot of lemons. But you can definitely make a clock or other cool things. So that is how the science behind our episode really works. So again, the electricity goes from the fruit into our clock. And you know what? This clock would work for days and days and days, wouldn't it? Maybe yes. we should set it.
pretty neat stuff, Assistant. Mm. I'm, at, I'm really happy you were able to use some science to be able to stop Rowdy Raccoon and get everybody back their Halloween candy. Aren't you? Yeah. And, and also, if you do this experiment with oranges, it smells really good. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for watching our video. Now make sure that you subscribe to the Engineering Family so you can see lots of cool videos. In fact, there's another cool video right there. You can select and watch it. I think you're really going to like it. Is it Team Umazumi, Paw Patrol, Surprise Eggs, Frozen, Blade, Masha? There are so many videos to watch. Bye!